Is Jesus the only Son of God according to the Bible? When Jesus saw the crowds, He went up on the mountain, and after He sat down, His disciples came to Him. He opened His mouth and began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Matthew 5 1 9. So if Jesus would be the only Son of God, would He said, that the people for being peacemakers would be called the sons of God? No, because that would be a lie, if Jesus would be the only Son of God. We know that Jesus wouldn't lie, because lying is a sin according to the Bible. For all who are being led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Romans 8 14, God has more than one Son, according to the Bible. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3 26, according to the Bible, we're all sons of God by faith in Prophet Jesus. The Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt see that you perform before Pharaoh all the wonders which I have put in your power, but I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Exodus 4 21-22. I have found David my servant, with my holy oil I have anointed him, with whom my hand will be established, my arm also will strengthen him. The enemy will not deceive him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him but I shall crush his adversaries before him, and strike those who hate him. My faithfulness and my loving kindness will be with him, and in my name his horn will be exalted. I shall also set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He will cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I also shall make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Psalm 89 20-27, God promised to make prophet David his son, according to the Bible. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. Job 1 16. You are the sons of the Lord your God, you shall not cut yourselves nor shave your forehead for the sake of the dead. Deuteronomy 14 1, according to the Bible, God does not have only one son. Does God really have any children? God creates, not fertilizes begets. He didn't fertilize beget anyone, He created everyone beside Himself. Having children is an act of God's creation it's an animal, human act, obviously not an act of God, because God is not like His own creation for example, humans. He is perfect without limitations, needs, faults. If one has a child, then the child has to have similar qualities to the one who is fertilized beget it. Jesus has totally different qualities than God. Some people argue that God can do everything, then why cannot He take human form? If God wishes He can become a human being but then he no longer remains God, because the qualities of God and human beings in many respects are completely incompatible. God does not have a beginning while human beings have a beginning. You cannot have a person not having a beginning and at the same time having a beginning. Human beings have an end. You cannot have a being, which has no end and an end at the same time. It is meaningless. Moreover if God takes human form, the same human cannot later become God, since human beings, by definition, do not possess the power to become God. The worship of God in a human form is therefore a logical fallacy and should be abhorred in all its forms. This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. John 17 3, this verse clearly shows that there is only one true God, not three, and that Jesus Christ is the prophet, whom this only true God sent. A ruler questioned him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. Luke 18 18 18-19. Jesus denied being good, by addressing not Himself as being good, but by addressing only God alone as being good. The similitude of Jesus before God is as that of Adam, He created him from dust, then said to him, Be. And He was. The truth, comes, from thy Lord alone, so be not of those who doubt. Quran 3 59-60, God Allah explains that Jesus, who was created without a father, is no different than Adam, who was created without a mother or a father. It is not, befitting, for God Allah to take a son, exalted is he. When he decrees an affair, he only says to it, be, and it is. Quran 1935. And, both, the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his loved ones. Say, why then does he punish you for your sins? Nay, you are but human beings, of those he has created, he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them, and to him is the return, of all. Quran 5 18. 
He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How can he have children when he has no wife? He created all things and he is the all-knower of everything. That is Allah, the Arabic version of Allah in Aramaic, the language that Jesus used to speak, your Lord. There is no God but he, the creator of all things, then worship ye him, and he hath power to dispose of all affairs. Quran 6 to 101 to 102. Jesus said to her, Stop clinging to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I ascend to my Father and your Father, and my God and your God. John 20 17. Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Luke 4 8, Don't worship prophet Jesus who was a man, worship the only true God.